Hello everybody, my name is Parak, and in today's video we've got a pretty exciting one. We've got a first time monster for me, being the Plesio, as well as a Shigaru Megala, which I actually haven't fought that much, and I didn't fight too much in Rise, at least the base form. Risen Shaggy's everywhere, but definitely not the base one. Of course, here is the quest. There is a second monster, which is a little concerning. I don't know what it would be, but we should probably bring Dung Bombs. I also got a new set of armor going. As I said, I was going to go farm out the Tetsukabra stuff, which I ended up doing. Finally got all that out of the way. Got a few extra skills in there too. So I think at the moment we have a Punishing Draw, which is a stun on hit, as well as Health Boost Max, which is nice. Alright, so from what I know about this lad, he has water attacks. He's got a colossal hip check, which is where the hip check thing came from, I believe. And he might have sleep, if I'm remembering what I've heard properly. It's either sleep or paralysis that he has. So, that'll be fun. Also, uh, we didn't spawn next to him, sadly, so... Probably gonna take a bit to find him. I imagine he's probably in, like, one of the upper zones, so... With the water. I'd say that's him. That is a big fish. That is a very big fish. Is there some way to get him on land? At least he's seen me, so he should come out onto the land, right? Hey, buddy. Can I... Can fight you, please? That is a very big fish. Okay, just one sweep. That's not too bad. So he's definitely got water. Right. Also, these reeds are massive. Jeez. Would like them to not be so I can so I can see it all times. Okay, so he's got a sweeping one and a straightforward one. Did I miss that? I think I did. Can you get over here? Want to fight you, please? That that is what I'm here to do, sir. Maybe I can. F okay, never mind. I was gonna say maybe I can fish him out of the water, but that works. That is a very big fish. That is massive. I imagine he's got a huge tail sweep too. He certainly does, but it actually doesn't reach under him. That's good. Okay, just run across the zone. Okay, get some stamina. I wish I could see. He's looking at me. Yep, that's fine. Also, it was definitely worth upgrading my armor. I got nearly double the amount of defense that I had. Which is beautiful. Okay, he's still got the sequence where he has to turn twice. It's good. Okay, he missed. Beautiful. You want to sweep for me? Whatever, I'll take it. Just a couple. Into sweep. Okay, not too bad. Colossal check. He only did it once. Okay, so he can choose to do it once then. That's a little concerning, but not the biggest deal in the world. Okay. Nice. His toes are not a good hit zone by the looks either. There's not a whole lot of blood I'm getting from this. That is- yeah, okay, yeah, that's a disgusting hip check. No! That is a very, very big hip check. Good god. Face is much but That did not hit me in the back, but okay, that's- that's fun. Okay, I'm starting to see where people might not like this lad so much. So, bad hit zone on his feet. And his hip check- I guess the tail counts as his swing as well, which is fantastic. Like, on the hip check itself. No? Okay. So yeah, I just got unlucky with it hitting me in the back. Nope. Okay. We are taking a lot of chip damage though, for sure. Okay. No second one. That's fine. I guess I just get close to him. Maybe his tail's a better spot there too. Spin it. Okay. Of course, walking hitbox, why not? No! I don't know if I actually went through that, but he definitely hit me there last time. Run into the water? Maybe? Okay. So I guess I just wait for him to come back out then. I feel like you should be able to fish him out though. If I had some... Oh? Oh no, that's a proper fishing spot. <laughs> um, stop. Hunter. Hunter. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, bless you. Okay, can you get back on land? I guess I'm just gonna evade him until he hops back up. Might be the best idea. Okay, beautiful. 
Or maybe I need to feed him something. Like worm. Okay, he missed. Also, something I've learned. Oh my god, I definitely rolled through it last time. Jesus. That is insane. Don't start attacks on top of me. That's disgusting. Very disgusting when attacks start on top of you. Okay, there's no way it reaches me here, right? Okay. Definitely want to stay close to him, though, for sure. I've got to have my weapon out a lot more. So I'm just getting hip-checked. And that's, uh... That's not good. Okay. So having weapon out real good. Weapon out real, real good. Same deal with, like, Nikakos. Okay. Eh. As I put my weapon away. <laughs> That's fine, though. Okay. Smack him. Eh. Nice, he missed. Got rid of the water blight, which is great. Big beam. Huge opening, I guess. One, two, three. I'll take it. That's full charge there. And he's at the cats. Beautiful. Okay. Sweeping. Did double sweep. We are swinging again. Okay. He missed. Lovely. Oh, that's probably... Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was like, that's probably why he runs so far. Is so he starts doing the range stuff. But that makes sense, I guess. I'm concerned at what the, uh... The second monster might be. If it's supposed to, like, either contest or help this lad. Because it should be, like, the same size. Which we haven't seen anything this big. Since, like, Nakakos. Or it's just a ball drone. That'd be funny. But somehow I don't think so. Wouldn't make much sense. Okay, that's fine. Is his underbelly decent? Is that what I'm hitting? I think his underbelly's good. And his feet are bad. I think. At least that's what the blood looks like. Get away! Okay. That is such a big hip check. Jesus. Alright. Nope. That is dumb that it hits me in the back, by the way. That was so scary. Okay. Nice. I saw some blood, so at least it worked. Nope. Okay. I swear I rolled through it, but that's okay. Definitely much prefer to take that damage than, like, the beam or the hip check. Because the hip check seems to hit pretty damn hard, too. Which is not ideal, at least for me. Okay, let's do this again. Let's get line more. Get a buff for the next swing. Oh, come on, man. That's fine. I've also come to the realization, since the monsters tend to just do whatever attacks they want in this game, getting a hip check while the monster's in front of you, or like a tail sweep while they're in front of you, is just gonna happen a lot. So it's better to just accept that you're going to get hit in those circumstances, even though they shouldn't, be, like, be programmed to do that. Okay. Because that's how you bait attacks on certain monsters, right? Okay. Like, uh, Fatalis, for example. You stand far enough away from him, he'll do fireballs, he'll run at you. Usually just fireballs. Uh, if you stand in the right spot, he'll do cones instead, which is fantastic. That's what everyone wants to see. Cones is just free damage. But ah, uh, that kind of thing. This game doesn't apply to those rules, from what I've noticed. Except with, like, long-range attacks. Okay. I'm gonna miss. Oh, I didn't miss. Sweep it as well. Okay, I'm fine with that not hitting. Oh, I... Oh, I thought I got it. Like, I thought I got my, um, thing in time before it ran out. Okay. I'll take that. Yeah, his underbelly must be a better hit zone than the feet. Or like a separate hit zone there. Did they just drop a stalagmite on him? Oh, okay. Again, at least that doesn't deal all that much damage. It's just the, like, hip check and the beams that seem to hurt the most. So I'm actually okay with that, honestly. Let's slap him to get the gauge. I did not at all input what it just did. I went to sheath and it decided to charge a swing instead. That was really weird. Also, he did put me to sleep, so it was sleep. 
Okay. Nice. Surely that... Okay. I was going to say, surely it wouldn't make it to me. Oh, okay. That's fine. Well, okay, that's childish. Both my cats are dead as well. This is scary. Okay, thank you. I am going to start running out of healing on some of these fights too. While I'm learning them at least. It might be better to bring some potions too. Just to heal like small bits. Spin. Or again, I, I literally just need to have my weapon out more. So I can actually Valor something. Which might be a pretty good idea. Because it, it, it's easily the, the safest way for me to be. Just exist. I'll take it. I don't know what he was doing, but uh, we'll take that. Charge under him. Nice. Into sweep. Okay. It's fine. Sweeping. Yeah, he's not forced to double sweep there. So we're fine to just go in. We broke something. Okay. Nice. It didn't hit me. That. That. Valor. Okay. But, yeah, definitely having the cats here is huge. Because if the cats are too far away, he should do the beam. Like, that seems to be the only thing that is, like, position-based, is long-ranged attacks. And then he'll just do whatever while you're close. That isn't long-ranged. Okay, he is enraged. Yep! Oh my god, I tried to roll through that because I desperately needed to. Oh no. Okay. Let's leave. Don't beam me. Okay. That was sketchy as. He definitely... He hits really damn hard. I'm so glad I upgraded all my gear first. Because I literally doubled my defense. With changing the armor. I also think he's in the next zone anyway, so that was fine. He might be getting close to dead though. If he's sleeping, we'll go for a trap. Okay, there he is. He's not weak by the looks. I don't think. Okay. It's fine. Surely it misses. Okay, beautiful. What are you doing? I definitely messed up at the start. He was dealing so much free damage to me. But I guess that makes sense, right? Nope. Okay. Another tailspin. That's fine. Beautiful. Okay. Ah. Okay, another tail sweep. Oh my... The sleeping hit, no! Go to the other zone. Oh, okay. Of course he hit me with his strongest hit. At least seemingly strongest hit. Because that hip check definitely has been chunking my health down. Roll. Okay. Not too bad, though. Not too bad. I just wish I had more potions. Okay. What? Was that a stagger? Hip check. Or, like, tail sweep. Okay, he is limping. So we did pretty well, then. I, I just chugged through healing. For sure. I hope he doesn't try to sleep in the water, though, because there's no way I can get him out of it. Or maybe I can Sonic Bomb him out? Okay, let's chuck it down under him. I'm gonna try a Pitfall. Oh my god, because... Why does walking deal damage sometimes? That's fine. Because he might have, like, Flabby Hide, because if you were there for the stream, I uh, tried to do a Shock Trap on a, like, Gypsaroth. Like, Hide messed with it. So maybe pitfalls are more consistent. Actually, he's got scales, right? By the way, Shock Trap has failed against something. So, may as well use a pitfall, just in case. That's a thing again. I jugged through so much bloody healing. I am so glad I upgraded my armor. He hit me so much harder than anything else has hit me so far. Alrighty, as I said, I've also got the Shigarum Garlet go fight today. So we're going to go deal with him for the first time in this game. Definitely fought him in Rise a few times, but I generally have more experience with Risen Shigaru rather than the regular one, so we'll see how this goes. I also put some potions and honey in my inventory now so I can make 
more mega pots if needed so that issue doesn't arise again this is different is this an arena again if so this is bloody cool <laughs> literally every map has been so sick definitely take those null berries i might need them um i think this is an arena though this seems like a really unique map i'll get the paintballs ready either way it's an arena okay yeah all right <laughs> no worries about that then just gotta live we also can't trap him because he is technically an elder in this form it's not like regular gore he also should roar so let's get the valor up unfortunately no earplugs sadness okay definitely lock onto him okay single blast that's not much of an opening let's run why was there a purple thing next to me does he have the sweep that regular gore has it doesn't look like it also good thing we have uh Seregios weapon because we can sharpen while fighting here which is going to be kind of helpful i think oh i see why i saw purple pass me i wonder what the cue for that is then okay i'm hitting horrible hit zones here so i'm trying to move away from him okay like i feel like his face is definitely the best spot to go at least that's how it is in uh rise especially with regular gore as well because gore in this game also is quite weak on the face seemingly beautiful okay giga slam does that have explosions in this no it just puts it under you okay that's good to know fine is that the one that pops it is okay does this explode no all right so that's a good spot to attack then i was a bit confused there because um on regular gore there at least the gore in this game it was not an opening so i just wasn't sure if he had an opening off that or not i'm so glad i valid does it show which way it does okay so it only goes out in one direction then that's good good knowledge so if i see that beam i gotta get away from that general spot smack okay it's powering up ah oh, okay i was gonna say is there no raw but uh there definitely was so that's roughly the same i'm just gonna watch the projectiles that goes to the side and then forward yep okay that's the same then that's not an opening okay so this is an opening what we just had there was not before that's fine oh yeah you can see the the high rank armor is coming in so strong here too since i finally upgraded it it's uh making us a heck of a lot tankier for this that shit sent out a lot of stuff is it still it's still raining stuff that's cool because uh the rise one definitely does not continue raining stuff it's just like when he gets upset does one set of them how many combo hits just two that's a good opening with him too okay good so we got the the big blast or the big slam and then the uh what's it called whatever he did the combo hit combo hits a good one good to know is his back leg okay that was a decent chunk of blood from the back leg oh my god okay we're fine i thought i rolled into it as it exploded but we got lucky okay he only did one it's fine i get some charge slap him into one of these one two i'll take it staggered him too okay sideways and front okay smack him no okay so that one where he takes off doesn't seem to actually go too too far then or like it doesn't go in a direction see wait why did it hit me it seemed to not explode beautiful that'll hit me if i run past him we should be good nice this is a good opening with him what was that just an unlucky spawn mate okay running thanks ledge 
At least it's not dealing all that much damage. As I said, I am in high rank equipment now. It's definitely much better than it was. Beautiful. Finally landed some good damage on him. That into a s charge. Ah. I had a feeling I should have done the dash. But, uh, trusted that I didn't need to. Running? Or blast? That's fine. We'll get some sharpness. Beautiful. I'm fine with that outcome. Okay, so it's gone that direction. Yeah. So that is how that works. Good. That's interesting that they did it that way, for sure. No frontal one? Okay. Oh, that's unlucky. Oh, we iframed it. Let's go. Into spin. Broke the horn. Okay. Just one. We'll take it. Send it early. Ah, he moved. Wait for it to turn enough. But he didn't do any frontals. We are near the wall, so I gotta go this way. That was so lucky that I just avoided that. That was pure luck. We love to see that. Followed by unlock. Okay. Turn for me. Ah. Well, I guess I'll just Valor it. What? Oh, I guess he's above me? And that doesn't count? I think. Oh, he just grabbed... No? I thought he just grabbed me. Just one. That's fine. Okay, running man. That's all good. Okay, get some stamina, get some stamina. Go look for food. There. It's only a ration, but uh, we'll take it. No! I, I did not! There is no world that I wanted to roll forward. <laughs> but okay, that's that's fine, game. That's that's completely fine. I input left and it just decided to roll forward. That's fantastic. I'm so happy about that. Okay. It's gonna run. Nope. Just single stomp. For some reason he hasn't been doing the combo one. Which is upsetting because I know he takes a bit there, because we saw it. Only be no on the one. That's fine. Head turn, maybe? He did turn, so we'll take advantage of it. There's the two. Okay. That's fine. Running again. Yep, smack him. Into one more, because we got a stagger. Oh, I tried to at least trade, because there was no way I was getting out of it. If I had um, Valor mode, maybe I could dash out of the way, but I don't think so. Yep, head turn for me. Probably not going to get a stun either. I feel like I've been hitting his, like, wing too much. Not his, like, just his face. Because I do have Punishing Draw on here, obviously. Is that going to hit me? Yep. I'm glad I held it. Beautiful. Another one. Go to the left. What? Okay. I definitely feel like that one shouldn't have hit me, but that's okay. Didn't want to give me an opening again. Okay. That's fine. Is the beam facing backwards? It is. Stupid. Wasn't even moving. Oh, there's my stun. Beautiful. Punishing draw came in clutch then. Bang, bang, and sweep. Also, should probably do some dodging soon as well. Stun, so he should stand there. Ah, oh, I completely messed that up. Okay. Yeah, I just got unlucky with him being above me, I guess. He actually takes a bit off landing, too. There. Definitely want to do some dodging. I don't know how much more green I have. Okay. Yep, it's fine. Sheath there. I was going to dash towards him, but I didn't think I have time. Beautiful. Into that. Into that. I'll take it. I got some extra damage off the opening. We definitely take those. What? There's no way that was behind me. There's no shot at all that that was behind me. It's gonna say, you better turn the right way instead of trying to roll forward. Cat, don't. 
cat walked over to me. Sweep. That's fine. Okay. Let it turn a bit. He did two. I'll take that. We got damage. Dash towards him in case he does two, which he did, but he's way too far away. Yeah, it was way too far away. Unfortunate. Dash it. Nice. Okay, sheath. I wanted to get it out of the explosion that time. Okay. Turn for me. Thank you. Beautiful stuff. No, sir. Go left. Send it. Ah. Okay, so I can't charge off that. He's still too quick for it. Which is fine. Sweep it. Aw, oh, what? Whatever. You know it's BS, because it still has my weapon out, even though I definitely got the, the sheathing part of it, but that's fine. Bang. Slap him. Okay. Can you... Fine, don't do anything. Thank you. Appreciate that. Blasts that way. Cat with the heal. Thank you very much. One and two. Nope. This again. I don't know why he does this power-up thing, because doesn't it just keep raining stuff on me the entire time? I guess it's to give you a free opening. Like, that's the only reason I can think behind him doing that. It's to just give you a chance to hit him. Which is weird. It's very, very strange. Oh. <laughs> we finished him with a butt slap. I'll take it. This area is so pretty, man. Definitely gonna abuse head turn on Shigaru more, though. He doesn't seem to have a tail sweep. So you can just stand behind him, he'll turn around, you head snipe. Oh my god, he gave me so many charms. I guess this is an early way to get charms then. That's sick. I don't know how much I'll use it, because uh, I got a pretty decent charm recently. It was like 7 health, which is huge for me. Well everybody, that was some more Monster Hunter Generations Ultimates, this time fighting the Plesioth for the first time, as well as the Shigaru Megala in this game, which definitely seems to be a much easier version than what I'm used to, with the fact that he doesn't actually have a tail sweep, at least right now. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.